Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to AWS This Week. And there are loads of great announcements this week, including same region replication for S3. Amazon Recognition now supports Private Link. NoSQL Workbench for DynamoDB is now in preview. You can now restore your Amazon workspace to the last known healthy state. Network load balancers now support multiple TLS certificates through server name indication. And we announce our Guru of the Week. You're watching AWS This Week with me, Faye Ellis. And with me, Ryan Cronenberg. So same region replication is now available for S3, and this means that you can now configure automatic asynchronous replication of newly uploaded S3 objects to a destination bucket in the same AWS region. And this is really cool because it enables you to replicate your files without sending them to a different region. And you can also replicate to any available storage class, including Glacier and Glacier Deep Archive for long-term storage. Amazon Recognition now supports Private Link. And if you haven't used Recognition before, it's a service which enables you to easily add image and video analysis to your applications. For example, to identify objects, people, text, and activities. And from this week, applications running inside your VPC can now connect to Recognition using AWS Private Link, which means you will not need to send data over the public internet. And this is great for applications which need to avoid sending data over the internet, as well as simplifying your network infrastructure. So NoSQL Workbench for DynamoDB is now in preview. And if you haven't used DynamoDB before, it's a fully managed NoSQL database. And the NoSQL Workbench is a great new client-side utility, which you can run either on Windows or on Mac OS. And you can use it to design and visualize your DynamoDB data models, tables, and indexes. You can also run queries and sample code all locally within the tool before committing your data model to DynamoDB. So it's a great way to get started and visualize your DynamoDB tables. You can now restore your Amazon Workspace to the last known healthy state. And if you haven't used Amazon Workspaces before, it allows you to provision Windows and Linux desktops in the cloud. And this is possible because Amazon now regularly scan and snapshot your workspace in the background, allowing the recovery using the snapshot should the workspace become inaccessible. So network load balancers now support multiple TLS certificates using server name indication or SNI. And this is a great feature as you can now host multiple secure applications, each with their own TLS certificate on a single load balancer listener and single IP address. And this is a feature that has already been offered through the application load balancer, but this is also now available using the network load balancer. So on to Guru of the Week. And the correct answer this week was C. And the person with the best answer is Tim Isles. And Tim is a solution architect from the UK. So congratulations to Tim. There's an A Cloud Guru t-shirt, sticker, and hand sign card on the way to you in the post. And you're also in the draw to win a free ticket to reInvent for 2020. Please see the link below for this week's question, which is now live on our forum. And that's all from us. You've been watching AWS this week. Keep, Keep being, being awesome, awesome Cloud Gurus. And we'll see you next time.